In 1997, DMA Designs released the first ever Grand Theft Auto game and for four years released them in a 2D form. While its graphical style was a mixed bag, fans loved what could be done. Fast forward to 2001 and, under a new banner known as Rockstar Games, published their third instalment. Right away, players really enjoyed the chaos and calamities, radio stations were hilarious and driving felt great. Back then, it was revolutionary. Now, lots of time has passed and other game series have come along only to drastically change their tune or stop completely. Today, I talk about how GTA actually ruined one particular game series that was seen as a beast in the driving world. That series is Driver. Let's cast back to 1999. That year, Reflections Interactive released a highly acclaimed first edition in the Driver series. Fans raved over how much fun could be had from their locked car and all its game modes, like survival. For a few years, it reigned supreme. Game number two had an ambitious mind, but remains absolutely fantastic even to this day. What driver fan doesn't love looking for a sacred secret car? Survival mode ramped up the chaos to a million. That's cops on crack, by the way. Cut to the next year, and GTA 3 changed how an open world game should be done. Personally, it wasn't as big as critics made it out to be, but let's continue. During this game, Rockstar fires shots at reflections. In the mission Two-Faced Tanner, Claude is tasked with killing a guy who's a carbon copy of Tanner. He has the look and awkward walking animation he had from Driver 2. It's not very nice seeing GTA's developers popping shots at their competitors. That wasn't the only digs Rockstar throwed at Reflections. In Grand Theft Auto Vice City, on a mission called Autoside, fans are asked to kill another guy called Tanner from afar. Why can't you just name the dude something else instead of silly roast like this? After Vice City, Reflections released a new game in the Driver franchise called Driver 3, and sadly, they drastically changed their iconic features to try and copy Rockstar's advances. The game had firearms, celeb voices, and a whole laundry list of technical glitches thanks to Atari rushing them to release it before GTA San Andreas. It's sad to see Reflections abandon their famous game mode in order to follow a trend. Speaking of San Andreas, in this title, Rockstar throw more shade at Driver fans. When going in Mad Dog's mansion for a mission, one of his homies is playing the video game and after failing it, he says, Tanner, you suck ass. This implies he's playing a driver game, hence the line. It's lesser known, but still petty to hear. They're not holding back in throwing shots at their biggest competitor. While GTA continued to reign supreme, Reflections decided to release a new title with none of the third game's issues. Driver Parallel Lines is a failure to me personally. Sure, the game doesn't suck, has a rocking soundtrack, good graphics and an awesome driving feel. Where it falters is here. There are no director modes, no survival mode, no pursuit mode, no time trial mode. They've completely abandoned the things that made the first two games so much fun to play. That's why I consider it to be a dud. Reflections and Sumo Digital released an underrated PSP title called Driver 76, which has enough going for it in driving pieces and missions to stop it from staying in GTA's shadow. After the 4th edition is released, you'd assume Rockstar would always be the king of open world games. While they're making other games like Red Dead Redemption and Max Payne 3, Reflections were making a new installment of Driver that would eventually be given to fans in September 2011. Man alive, what a game it was! San Francisco brings back Tanner and Jones with many layers of awesomeness. First, the story has loads of interesting points including the shift mechanic, making it possible to hop into another vehicle without physically exiting it. We try and capture Jericho while learning about his elaborately dangerous plans. Director mode returns, alongside time trials as well. Feels great to film Hollywood styled scenes again. Survival mode also returns in a more beefed up way. Cars are thrown at you and you have to dodge them. It's insane and amazing. Reflections managed to put real licensed cars in the game, which makes driving around even better than before. Being able to whiz around in a full Gran Torino is a dream come true. Speaking of, around San Francisco, players can pick up little tokens which unlock scenes to do with famous movies like Bullet, Smokey and the Bandit, and Starsky and Frickin' Hutch. 
That particular one is embedded into my head. It's perfect for any chase buff. Soundtrack wise, Driver SF has many catchy beats that aren't typically seen in other racing games. Certain ones are perfect in missions. On a whole, Driver San Francisco distinguished itself from Rockstar's juggernaut games. It had a thrilling story, licensed cars, returning game modes, an over the top shift feature and a script which, while being different in tone to the other Driver games, was so filled with lines that you'll be wheel screeching trying to find more. Sadly. Resurrecting the franchise took half a decade for reflections. People all around the world were praising them through the roof for making their games vastly different to GTA, but in doing so, burned themselves out. Since 2011, driver fans haven't really had a mainline game, aside from a mobile one which is just a voting nonsense piece of crap. Rockstar are thriving with GTA 5, which has been milked so much they're refusing to make other games from their catalogue. Give us Bully 2, man. For years, fans of the series have took it upon themselves to make more updated versions of classical Driver titles. Also, a live-action TV show to do with Driver is being made, which sounds promising. Martin Edmondson recently said that if he were to remake Slash Do a new Driver game, it would be really realistic. Safe to say fans, including myself, have a new layer of hope. Only time will tell and if Reflections will make a new game and if we'll see John Tanner again. That was how GTA ruined the Driver series. What's your opinion on this? Let me know in the comments below. All clips and songs used are in the description. If you're watching this on Instagram or TikTok, click that thumbs up and follow me for more content like this and gaming videos and songs. I've been Retrograde and hope you have a hella nice day.